Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Bruno Fernandes got another player of the month. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. He's absolutely world-class, mate. He's world-class. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out uh, player of the month, Bruno Fernandes. I'm going to use him differently for this review because I've already checked out this card uh, multiple times with different versions. The 91 player of the month, the new headliners card. Uh, so I kind of want to try him out in a different position. 4-4-2 uh, this time. But... If we take a look at this card's in-game abilities, he's a 5'10 player with high, high work rates. Four-star skills with a four-star weak foot. In regards to in-game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait, but no finesse shot trait. In-games, he's got 84 acceleration with 82 sprint speed, so boosting that's definitely going to be important. Whether or not you give him uh, the shadow chemistry style or the hunter chemistry style, it's going to be important to give either or. In this case, my boy gave him the hunter chemistry style for the 94 on acceleration and 92 for sprint speed uh this card has 99 this this team of the year card is gonna be so disgusting um he's got 85 base finishing if i was this guy i would still give him a shadow honestly because his finishing is already really good. His attacking AI is already really good. Giving him a defensive presence in that midfield position, even if you're using him as a cam or a striker or whatever, I, I think it's perfectly fine. Because the finishing works different this year. So I think 85 is not bad. But obviously boosting it to a 95 for those very specific angles is helpful. But I still think a shadow makes the most sense just to be able to uh, rotate this card into different positions on the pitch. Uh, but... You know, Hunter's is still going to be okay. 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 95 ball. I mean, this card's shooting is ridiculous. Uh, passing the card for base card stats look great. Uh, dribbling on the card at 86 for agility, 86 for balance. We've tested that before in the past. It's not a big deal that they're in the, the mid-80s because of his body type, as well as his 93 reactions, 95 ball control, and 92 dribbling, and 93 composure. Uh, he has 82 interceptions, which is very helpful to have in the midfield position because he is a 5'10 player. And then he has 99 stamina with 74 strength and 79 aggression. So... If we take a look at this card, uh, I was doing the Stindle review, uh, but this card just got completely glitched out, <laughs> so I had to go on this account for Bruno. Big thanks to you guys, obviously, for helping me out with these reviews, because uh, this is the type of card, right, where, you know, if you already did the 91 rated version, I wouldn't really say that you missed out too much on... Uh, the differences between the two cards like obviously twos you notice a slight difference but the base characteristics are still going to be very similar um, so with this player of the month bruno fernandez card right it's a card that is one million coins right now whereas the headliners version that could potentially get upgraded is at a 1.9 mil right so if you want to get the best version of bruno's card at a cheaper price for a card that's still pretty decent then it makes sense to do the player of the month for that very reason but uh, the differences between this card over here and the 91 rated version right now is going to be in the slight dribbling abilities. Uh, defensive is going to be on two stats, which does make a difference for him. Three is for physical and then two for pace. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to try out. So, the way that I'm going to be trying out Bruno this time, because I've tried him out in so many of the attacking positions, because I feel like he could play in any of the areas, mostly in the middle, but we'll see what's up. Uh, we're going to be using the 442 tactics. Um, it's going to look like this. So 442. I mean, I could play him as a center mid and it literally wouldn't be an, an issue at all. Uh, this card is Portuguese, dude. I am going to switch him, so don't worry about that. Uh, just going to go ahead. No, I'm going to keep Bruno on that left side, actually. Kimik will go here in the middle. Instructions will be stay back, overlap, stay back, overlap. Uh... We will make we'll make Goretzka the more defensive oriented player. This guy will be on just come back, come back. And then this is get him behind, come back, get him behind, come back. So yeah, we'll be using him on the get him behind instructions. Uh, I just want to try him on in a different position, to be honest with you guys, because he's really good in the center mid, CDM, cam. So uh, I never tried him up top in the striker position next to somebody else. But I mean, I'm pretty sure he's still going to be amazing at it because his attacking AI is really awesome. Um, so... Yeah, I just have to switch the tactics here. It's supposed to be balance four and what is it? Four and four and six. Let me see. It's four, four and six. Yeah, four and six, and then balanced seven and five. And this is on three, and then this is on three. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, let's get into a game and see how this beast plays. <laughs> 
Okay, this guy... Mm, 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 mm. He's going to be using rare gold Bruno as a, C as a center mid or CDM. Probably a 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1. You know the vibes. <laughs> I, uh, I get called at like the worst times to do stuff. Uh, I try to kick the ball out and I just gave him the ball on a breakaway because <laughs> I was trying to make the switch here uh, with the player. Uh, okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. Hyungmin Sun, switch him over here and then use Bruno as a striker. Okay. Put an end to that attack. Oh man, I try to work that angle there with Ronaldo. I have to take an extra touch right there for me to be able to score that opportunity, but we move. First time strike. There you go, Bruno, my boy. Beautiful stuff right there. Bad giveaway from the opponent. He tried to pass it off to the uh, left side right there, and uh, oh, good interception right there. Ball roll touch. Wait for this. In the middle. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we got here. I'll work this middle space here with Ronaldo. Pass Ronaldo. it off. First time strike. Oh, I hit the crossbar right there. No way. So what I've noticed with... Um, Oh, I try to work that skill move right there. What I've noticed with Bruno's card, guys, is that it's it, it really doesn't feel relevant to boost his finishing to a 95 because of how the shooting works in this game from the very obvious angles that you score from, right? So giving him an 85 when he already has 99 shot power, it really should be good enough because um, I always try to guarantee like high percentage strikes anyway, so... Oof, nice near post strike right there. Beautiful stuff. We tag we time the uh the drag back really nicely there. I mean, you know what? He's he's like I said guys, he's a card that you can use in any of the attacking positions. Uh, but it is a card that I mostly like to use in the cam or center mid position. Like in this 4-4-2, guys, I'm telling you, playing this card as a center mid with the way that this 4-4-2 is set up as your more attacking oriented midfielder with a shadow chemistry style, it would be really, really nice, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that run so you can go back into position quickly. Touch, finesse shot, FIFA mechanics, you know, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. Um... Yeah, he just, you know what it is, man, is that this card in the attacking areas, he just has all the right attacking AI stuff. He's got the base shooting stats, passing stats. The dribbling, like I said, it's not an issue because uh, the other areas of the card being boosted in those, you know, the dribbling department, the ball control, uh, composure being high, it definitely compensates really well for his agility and balance being the way that it is. Uh, with this card, guys, I'm telling you this right now. His team of the year is going to be really, really disgusting. And I cannot wait for this team press thing to be nerfed even further because, wow. Um, because that agility and balance, like that, me, that's like me super, super like nitpicking, right? Uh, all the specific variables of his card. I'm going to go ahead and force a run here with him. Oh, man, I should have shot that to the far post with the player there. That defensive AI tackle is definitely going to come off. Ooh, get him on that volley right there. Get him on that volley. Nice goal right there. Middle run. Oh, of course that's overdone, of course. The passes that should be good aren't, you know? I don't know if you guys have watched uh, Stallion's video on the through balls, but I highly recommend you do. Um, it breaks down the through balls in this game really, really well, to be fair. Um, I have Goretzka as a stay back player, right? Goretzka as a stay back, well, okay, cool, cool, cool. We're going to switch Bruno with Kimmich here. I mean, I hate using Juan Felix as a striker, but screw it. <laughs> screw it. Uh, we're going to do this. Anzu Fati. Hyungmin Sun. Uh, uh, whatever. I'll force myself to use Juan. You get the Portuguese players up top. 
I want to use Bruno as a center mid because he's amazing there. And I don't know if that actually saved, so... And it didn't. We go back! Fati. Outdoing his opponent. Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, it's way worse. Joao Felix. Will it be? Look at how he's not using the direct guy to defend against me in this situation. So ridiculous, man. For the counter attack, you know. Well, it fizzled out. Joao Felix. Might be able to set up the chance. And the referee has given them a call. See how aggressive he was on that run right there? He's so good in that center mid position, boys, I'm telling you. In this 4-4-2 setup, it's beautiful. Look at how he still goes for it. He's going to make that, though. Yeah. He's going to make that, though. Look at how he still goes for it, bro. Oh, my God. Um... Um, um, I'm going to be cheeky again. Hey, it's 5-2. It's the only reason why I attempted it, okay? I didn't hear <laughs> so Sorry, you gotta. This game's a meme, so you know you gotta, you gotta do the right things to do the right things, you know. All right, guys. So final verdict on the player of the month for Nana's card. So he's obviously a beast. So for me personally, I feel like the hunter chemistry style is kind of pointless for him because of his shooting already being really good. Boosting his finishing is not really gonna be a hugely beneficial thing for him because I feel like you would notice more of a presence with this card when he's on the shadow chemistry style. Now. The situation with uh, the Bruno Fernandes player of the month card is this, right? Because some people are saying, oh, you know, there's the headliners that exist right now. If you buy him for like 2 million coins and it's a tradable and he could get upgraded. Uh, and then there's also the other variable of the team of the year being out. Now, if you don't play the game a lot, right? And you want to get a good version of Bruno Fernandes' card, 1.1 million coins is what he's going to cost from a price value. Um, because... You know, obviously the headliners is at like 2 million coins right now. Uh, the team of the year version is going to be significantly higher as well. So the difference that you're paying for when it comes to these cards right now is a price difference, right? Like you could get this card at 855k and then be able to sell him and whatnot. Um, you know, give him the shadow chemistry style, give him that little bit of a defensive presence while giving him the pace. This card already performs really well as a tradable, right? But the 92 rated version is better than this version right here, in my opinion, right? So um, it's one of those situations where if you already did the 91 player of the month card, then you don't really have to worry about this new card, to be honest, because they perform in very similar ways. Um, but, you know, if you want to get a Bruno Fernandes at a price range where you know that you're going to use him for a very long time, or you're not going to be able to afford the headliners or the uh, team of the year in the future, then that's when you do the player of the month card, right? Um, like I said, it's a really good card. It's really up to you guys if you guys want to do it because it is very pricey. There is the team of the year. There is the headliners. So it's just a matter of what the situation of your club is, really. But is he a good card? Yes. Shadow chemistry style in any of the attacking positions, he's really fun. In this review, I tried him in the striker position, but... I mean, you guys already know I tried him in the center mid, the cam. You know, even on the right mid position, this card can play really well because... Um, He's got great attacking and defensive presence. So, yeah, it's a great card, guys. It's just a matter of whatever your club situation is, right? And what you want to do in the future for Team of the Year's headliners, all that good stuff. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to go see if I can do the Stindle card now. So, peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.